Hello Talker 777, in today's video I'll be showing you guys a neat application for Windows called Clone App. So what a Clone App does is it actually back up, backs up the settings and registry files for programs on your computer. So if you've ever used Titanium Backup for Android, it's kind of like that. It doesn't restore the actual program itself, simply the settings and registry files for it. So for example, let's say you're going to reinstall or wipe your hard drive and reinstall Windows. You lose all your programs. So for example, you would back up your Google Chrome settings with Clone App, and then when you reinstalled Windows and then reinstalled Chrome, you could restore the settings for Chrome, and then essentially you'd have everything back the way it was. Now Chrome already backs up everything with your Google account, but for other programs that don't do that, this is a very neat application. So I'm going to show you guys how to download it and can then kind of just go through a basic run through of the application. So if you're interested in trying it out, it's a free portable app. It's extremely small. You'll see in a second here. All you got to do is go to the link below. I'll have it in the description below and then you can go ahead and press download now. It's a 300 kilobyte program and it's pretty, like I said, it's pretty small. So what you need to do is you need to actually drag the clone app folder to the desktop in order to, in order for it to properly work. Now, once you have the clone app uh, applica or folder somewhere outside of the zip, you can fire it up and fire up the clone app program. You may get this window um, smart screen filter. You can go hit more info and then run anyway. So this is clone app. It has two different themes. So you can go to night mode or day mode, depending on whatever you feel like doing. And then you can go through here and you can see all the programs that it currently supports. Now, if you hit select installed, it will select all the programs that you have personally have installed for backup. So here I have WinRAR, a VLC, Skype, Mozilla Firefox, Chrome, Evernote, and Adobe Photoshop. Now, certain things uh, like Office and Word, uh, for, or Office Outlook 2013 and Word 2013, I have installed, but unfortunately, it didn't it didn't uh, recognize those. And I also didn't recognize any of these here. Now these here are, are intentional. Uh, if you want to back these on them, it is suggested that you do it ma or you do it, you manually select them. Now for example, this video, I'm going to back up just one um, file or one, one program for this video. And I'm going to choose to do Photoshop. Now when you click on a program, it'll tell you exactly what it backs up. So for example, for Photoshop, it's going to back up the color, paths, filters, and effects, uh, workspaces, and plugin settings, editing, blah, blah, blah. Now these are some of some awesome things to back up for Photoshop, because Photoshop doesn't naturally back things up. And if you've ever went ahead and created a custom workspace in Photoshop, it can take you 10 minutes to do that. And rehiving to make that again when you reinstall Photoshop can be a pain. So being able to back up that workspace um, to a folder and then restore it, restore it later or even transfer to a new computer because you can restore it to your computer. It's a huge time saver. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit start clone app. You'll see within a couple seconds, it has completely finished um, Photoshop and actually Firefox as well. Now what happens is it saves your clone up your clone or backed up information to the clone app folder in the backup folder. So the, the information is separated through here. So now what you can do is you can take this folder, the client folder, and bring it to your new computer or put it on a flash drive for backup. And then when you bring it to the new computer you want to, or you want to restore that information, you open the client app again. And then by default, it will have selected the ones you previously selected. And then you can hit restore. What will store do is it will find those files and folders and restore them. So it's going to ask you if you want to copy the folder. Since I already have it there, um, is you're gonna, you're gonna get, I'm going to get a lot of um, options that are like replacing the files and stuff. So I'm going to exit those just for now. But as you guys can see, though, that is how it works. It simply will put the files back to where they were. Now, if you restore with the with the application um, still installed, it will actually try to replace them because, it, like I said earlier, it's trying to restore. And that's pretty much it for this application. In the custom folder, we have certain custom things if you uh, um, want to back up custom files. 
but honestly the clone area is probably all you're going to need under options we have a couple of things like clone path a uh, log path and then the default uh, editor and then to get started we have some company information and guys that's pretty much it for this new application called clone apps i hope you guys did enjoy it definitely check it out power or uh, combining this with midnight that application that downloads a lot of programs at once this can be a pretty effective way to quickly reinstall your whole computer and their settings anyways guys thanks for watching hope you guys did enjoy if you did leave a like if you have any questions comments or concerns leave those below as well and if you have any suggestions for future videos do that as well Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you in my next YouTube video. This is Hacker 007, and I'm signing off.